This is a question that I received on my email. It says, I came across your YouTube videos a few days back. They were very inspiring and informative. I am always on a quest of searching for the truth and really want to know the deeper meaning of life. Worldly situations do not satisfy me anymore. I want to know more about Advaita and go deep into it. Please suggest how can I delve deep into the study where I can understand it from the beginning till the advanced stage. My soul is always yearning to understand the meaning and purpose of life. But I am also experiencing financial concerns as I don't feel like progressing in my career. At the same time, money is required for day-to-day -day living and it is creating trouble. Please guide me on what I can do. Now you see the very search for meaning and purpose is indirectly the search for wholeness. And, you know, to learn about Advaita, there are books from many teachers, starting with Ramana Maharishi to Ramesh Balsekar, Sargadatta Maharaj, Jiddu Krishnamurti. There are many non-dual teachers who, you know, you can read their books and gain a significant understanding. But the real understanding comes from your own life experiences. When you become observant and when you learn to watch your life as it happens. So there is no greater pointer than life itself to learn about Advaita. Because truth cannot be given to you by another person. Truth has to come from within. So the movement that is required is not outwards. To know the truth, the movement has to be inwards. Inward movement will bring about self-inquiry, contemplation, introspection, self-reflection. And all these things will bring you to a certain level of understanding. But every understanding has to match through your personal experience. That is the most important thing. So you're not to blindly believe in any concept. The concept has to stand your personal experience. So now you said that you are also experiencing financial concerns. And uh, money, as you said, money is required for day-to-day -day living and it is creating trouble. Now see, what is money? For me, money is a means to an end and not an end goal itself. If you make money the end goal, then it is bound to create suffering in your life. And I don't compartmentalize life into materialist, materialism and spiritualism. Life is one. But the problem with us is that we are always, our mind is, thinking mind is always future oriented. So we are looking for a future security. So, so we say to ourselves that if we have this much money by the time we turn this years old and if we have this, you know, this car, this, uh, this amount of stocks and, you know, all material possessions and everything, then I am set in life. So this whole movement is future oriented. It has got nothing to do with what is happening now in this very moment. So identifying with the thinking mind, we start chasing a goal in the future. 
So what is happening is that, you know, we are working hard now to, to attain a better future. And the generation, the coming generation also does the same. So generation after generation, everybody is working for a better future. But nobody is living now in the present moment. And that is creating suffering. What you are experiencing has been experience. People have been experiencing this since many ages because everybody has been working towards a secure future. Let me secure myself. Then let me secure my family that let me sec secure my family's family. So it goes on like this. And nobody is spending time with each other right now in this moment. Everybody is just running. That is what our conditioning is. The conditioning brings about fear. And the fear is always moving in the future. Either it stays in the dead past or it moves in the future. But the true understanding is that all there is, is this moment. Now I'm not saying that don't save for future. It is common wisdom that we have been, human beings have been doing this since many ages. We have been saving money for future. But where does that thought come from? That is most important. Does that thought come from a place of fear and insecurity? Or does it come from understanding? That is, that makes a whole lot of difference. If it is coming from a place of fear, then there is no end because nothing is going to make the mind peaceful. The mind will eternally remain in chase mode because you see, as we earn more money, we increase our expenditures as well. So our uh, idea of uh, a secure future takes a jump. You know, this, that, so, so it's a constant change when you are identified with the future. And yes, money is important. For example, if right now you don't have a means to pay your bills, if you don't have means to buy food for your, yourself and your family, then that's an urgent situation which needs an immediate course of action then something needs to be done now. You cannot say that, no, I'm going to be spiritual even if my family remains hungry. That spirituality is of no use. That is just your mind's deception. So this is something you need to question that your ideas of financial security, where is it coming from? Is it coming from a place of fear? Or is it coming from a place of understanding, a place of wisdom? And also, in your career, if something is making you unhappy, then you can do two things. One is, maybe you can try to look for a way to make your existing job more fulfilling. Try to find a way to make it more uh, creative so that it gives you a sense of satisfaction. If you cannot do that, then the next thing would be to look for some other career option. Perhaps get involved in some sort of social service if that is the thing for you. It's not necessary that, that you do that. But if that's the thing for you, you can, if fulfillment is the highest uh, goal for you, then of course you can try that as well. Or maybe join some other career where you feel that, you know, that your uh, creativity is enhanced and it is benefiting you. And plus taking care of your financial needs as well. But this is something you only have to contemplate. 
सो बेस्ड ऑन योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग यू टेक अ डिसीजन यू नो स्पिरिचुअलिटी इज नॉट अबाउट मेकिंग अ सिक्योर फ्यूचर बिकॉज द स्पिरिट इन स्पिरिचुअलिटी द स्पिरिट इज हियर एंड नाउ द स्पिरिट डज नॉट लिव इन फ्यूचर इट इज नाइदर इन फ्यूचर नॉर इन पास्ट स्पिरिट मीन्स हेयर एंड नाउ एंड स्पिरिचुअलिटी इज लिविंग हेयर एंड नाउ इन दिस मोमेंट लिविंग मोमेंट टू मोमेंट एंड दैट इज द ओनली पीस वन कैन अटेन वेन वन ट्रूली अंडरस्टैंड दैट पीस इज इन दिस मोमेंट इट इज नॉट इन फ्यूचर and certainly not in the past so i hope this helps you bring peace